All right, guys, we done did something crazy. All right, guys, I don't know what happened there. We were, must have been in time last mode or something on the camera or something, so it didn't get any audio and it was like fast forwarding. But anyway, to give a little synopsis of what's going on is we've been looking for our very first fifth wheel RV. And we've been looking at brand new ones like the Keystone Cougar 290 RLS and the Keystone Cougar 316 RLS. And then all of a sudden, you know, we get alerts and stuff like that. Kim on Facebook or OfferUp, I forget what it was. I think it was OfferUp. And uh, Kim got this alert. There was this used one and we were gonna go check it out and we we're on our way to do that. So we'll pick back up right there. All right guys, so we just got through looking at this RV and it is a 2020 Keystone Cougar 315 RLS so it's been basically what we've kind of been looking at it's like the older version of the 316 RLS that that's what replaced it and uh, so I'm gonna show you a little bit of video of what we saw just out of respect for them we didn't take a whole lot of pictures and videos because it is a private sale um, but here it is and it's it's got pretty much everything we're looking for um, it's got the a washer dryer combo in it already it's got two ACs Everything looks pretty pristine. It's been lived in, you know, a little bit, but not a lot of wear and tear, no leaks. Uh, it doesn't, uh, everything seems to work. They had a 50 amp hook up there, so we could, got to try both ACs. Both of those work. Um, you know, all the light switches, refrigerator's cool. Um, you know, the toiletry and stuff, everything seems to be working just fine. Um, we probably won't get an inspection done on it because it seems, Everything seems to be pretty kosher. Uh, I looked it over pretty good. Um, there's a few, you know, minor little things, you know, scratches here and there, but not nothing major. Other than that, it looks pretty great condition. Um, but so far we like it. Uh, this may be our next thing. So now we just gotta work out the little details. And uh, I don't know, this may work out, this may not. But you know, we gotta get the fifth wheel hitch installed and all that jazz. So. We'll keep you updated as we go. All right, guys, we done did something crazy. We did it. We got the title and we're heading to the tag office and stuff to go, uh, um, you know, transfer that over into our name. And before you know it, we, we still got to put a hitch on this thing, which actually you've probably seen that on the video before by now. But uh, we're going to go uh, pick it up shortly and uh, it's starting. All right, guys, well, I'm on my way to get the Cougar. And if you haven't been subscribing, I put the gooseneck turnover ball. You can put these things on backwards or anything. And the Blue Ox BXR 2100 fifth wheel adapter hitch. Teats, or two and five sixteenths uh, gooseneck ball. All right, that's 45 pounds. So. Um, you can go back and check those out, but we're gonna after this video and then but we're gonna continue on and go pick this thing up and See how it tows and uh, get it to its new home for now guys we did it she's back there and we got about a 75 mile trek a um, couple miles to the highway and it's gonna be mostly highway until we get there uh, so I'm gonna keep track of gas mileage and you know this thing weighs just over 10,000 pounds you know 
somewhere between 10, 10 to 10.5. And uh, so far, it feels like this thing has plenty of power. We'll see when I get on the highway. This is the 7.3 gas uh, Godzilla motor, so, and 355 gears. Um, but we're gonna do a lot of videos of towing and, you know, uh, RV life and all that stuff. So stick around for that mess. Hey guys, so we made it. Uh, you know, we got a lot of plants coming up. We're gonna be doing some solar. We're gonna change over to a tankless water heater. Uh, we have all kinds of plants messed up. We have a lot of exciting things in the future planned. So hit that subscribe button, notification bell, all that fancy mess, and uh, come follow our RV adventures, truck travel, and towing, and all that mess. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>